Hey, g'day guys, Rod here again, looking in today's video, what I'd like to do is track the progress of friends of mine, Brennan and Anna, and their system that we built during COVID last year in 2020. And uh, I'll show you through from system build right through to six months mark where you'll see a wall of tomatoes, you'll see huge cucumbers, and you'll see everything they've achieved. Sweet potatoes oozing out of the uh, wicking bed system. It's a great little system. We've had to fit it in in a gap before a pull fence. So we had a little bit of technical difficulty, but we've designed it so it does fit uh, to our Australian standards for pools even. So uh, join me, I think you'll enjoy this. Just want to show you a system. This is Brendan and Anna's system. And you can see it's a three bed system with sump and fish tank using gravity. It's just flowing down with three, three beds, three gravel beds, sump underneath. And it's all, we're just cycling it at the moment. It's cycling well. Just planted, added bacteria to the system. You can see, just trying to get the siphons all working at the same time. What I have been cycling the system with is this product, Charlie Carp. And I mean, I don't get any endorsements or anything, but uh, it's a great product. I really uh, think it's great. It's just a, a fish emulsion, really. It's helping the rivers get rid of the pest that carp is in this country, in Australia. Koi carp are great, Japanese koi. They're beautiful in the pond, but not in a river system. So this system's doing well. It's about two weeks into its cycle. Haven't added any fish yet, but uh, the time is very soon. Just tested for ammonia and it's really starting to pick up. So it's doing well. A Little bit of algae, it's probably a bit too much uh, nutrient going into the system at the moment. But the bacteria are starting to colonize and we've planted it out. Painted everything black, the style of the day. Um, in this backyard, everything's black. A black fence, a black retaining wall, black aquaponics. But it look, looks good. Never done a black one before. But it looks pretty good. Might be getting a little hot. This tomato plant's a little bit droopy because the siphon stopped working. And it was only sucking water from the bottom. Okay, just a quick update. I'm here at uh, Anna and... Brendan's aquaponic system. Just a quick update. You can see everything starting to cycle well. I'm cycling fishless cycle and uh, you can see the, they've just planted some plants. All growing well. Put in a, a little bit of pond water from my system and some gravel from my system just to cycle it a bit quicker. It threw in some seed and you can see the seed growing. This is a week's worth. A lot of lettuce growing here. Got some cucumber which are growing out of control by the look of it. It's all growing well and there's not a fish in here. So fantastic, even a, even a tomato over here, they've transplanted and uh, you can see a tomato with fruit, it's successfully transplanted. And the wicking beds are doing well too. You can see they've even put in a compost bin over here, throw the compost in on top of the wicking bed, uh, water through here, pretty full and you can see actually that just by scratching the water you don't even need to you can see see how it's all wet it's wicking up doing well they got beetroot they got sweet potatoes they got carrots looking good looking very good now what I've got to do in this system is just increase the pump size so I'm just gonna give them a 5,000 litre pump because the one that they've got in there it's a little mini version and it's only a 3,000 litre pump. And because of that, the siphon, the centre siphon just will not go. So I've got the other two working fine, but I think if I increase the pump, then the siphons will work beautifully. You can see the oxygen's produced up here. It's a lot of algae because they're in full sun half the day. But once fish get in there, I think it'll settle down and we'll put a big shade sail up as well. Just trying to get all these siphons sinking up. So it's great. That one on the left working perfectly. One on the right also triggering pretty well. It's that middle one that's the problem. If you 
can see how I set it up there. It's about 30 centimeters each at length, but the 40, 40, 40 centimeters the one in the middle. I'll just move it slightly. See if that helps the trigger. Cucumbers are extreme growth in one week. Just fantastic. Really good. That's the sound we want to hear. I can hear a gurgling sound and the siphons, two siphons left and right are slowing down and stopping. It's just this one in the middle which is a little bit of a pain. And you can see I put a tap there, 15 mil pipe. I've made a pretty solid pipe. There's a lot of sediments on the bottom and some sawdust from a tree that they cut down above as well. Now I always sit my pumps, my systems on a brick and that way if anything happens and you know, evaporation, you do lose a lot of water evaporation or um, you know, for some reason something overflows well. It's, if you've got fish in there with a brick, the fish will stay alive because the water won't go any further than the bottom of your pump. We planted a lot of lettuce seed and tomato seed. You can see everything's coming up in just one week. It's just fantastic. And this is scoria. Love it when the plan works. It's, it's starting to cycle well. It's nearly ready for fish. And everything is starting to function as it should. The siphons are kicking on. Happy days. Fish tank as well. It's doing well. It's just, just in the sun, that's all afternoon sun and is creating a little bit of algae in there but we'll fix that shortly with some sort of shade sail it gets 45 degrees up here in summer sometimes 48 degrees believe it or not in cans that's pretty jolly hot for most things so we just have to protect the plants with some sort of shade in regards to the siphons if you experience a problem where your siphon just won't turn off so it turns on empties the bed and then just won't turn off then what you need to do is just decrease the speed of the water uh, coming coming in here so you just turn off the tap a little bit just decrease that and that should start to suck more air and alternatively you do it the opposite way if it's not starting then you increase the flow of the water so try those tricks okay I'll just explain to you just a little technical issue with this one now you can see behind me the beds are going i've got the beds joined at the shorter side now normally i would make i'd make the siphons on the longer side normally in every design that i've made but in this particular design we only had three meters four meters to the fence now and there's a pool pool fence so the laws uh, law in this country says you need at least uh, i think it's a meter and a half um, you can't put anything up against the pool fence. So the only way I could put three beds in this particular location was to uh, turn the bed sideways. So it's interesting. It does have an impact on the siphons and how they function. It's just a matter of tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. But we're getting there. It's working well. Looking good. Look at the growth. I think this is week four. Three, what amazing growth. We've also got an addition of shade, sail. All right, just wanted a quick update here on, on Anna and Brendan's system. As you can see behind me, we've got a shade sail above now, and that really stops the afternoon sun, which is fantastic. Everything's out of control. Look at it, it's out of control. A lot of these things came from seed, tomatoes, capsicums, cucumbers look at the cucumbers absolutely crazy crazy growth on the cucumbers basil mint straight from my aquaponics system we transferred we cycled it up in three and a half weeks now actually and i've just added some baby perch so little fingerlings and look the growth is out of control absolutely proud of this system and yeah it's set and forget system awesome Hard to believe you can get that sort of growth in cucumbers just recycling the system. 
Absolutely phenomenal. This is a model system. Absolutely model system. I am so proud of this one. I can't believe the cucumber in here. In just a couple of weeks, look at that. That's as big as my hand, that one. Holy moly, look at the size of that in three and a half weeks. I can't believe it. This is jolly awesome. How many cucumbers they got? Unbelievable. And they've added some stainless steel wire here just to um, really provide for the cucumbers. Man, let's have a look at this. How many cucumbers do they actually have? Are out of control. Whoa. Holy moly, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it myself. This is just as good as my system. Man, and, and that's cycling, guys. That's cycling the system. Holy guacamole, this is awesome. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm so pleased and proud of this little system. It's a three bed system with uh, siphons. Absolute little backyard food machine. Three and a half weeks during the cycling, no fish. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Just add it, all we did was add uh, sea salt, add a bit of iron, a bit of calcium, and look at the growth. Fantastic. Wicking birds, they're doing okay, but they're nowhere near as effective as the aquaponics, which is out of sight. But everything looks pretty good though. And it is moist, the soil remains moist. So it is working pretty well. They just need to plant, plant, plant. But look at this, sweet potatoes looking okay. Asparagus, it's looking very wet actually. Jeez, this is way too much water in this one. <laughs> Uh, looks like she's blocked. Yeah, way too much water. Um, versus this one, let's see how much water's in there. Yeah, that's even that's too much water, really, for a wicking bed for this one. Boy. Yeah, way too much water in all of them. That one's probably the better of all of them. That's the problem. Have a look at these wicking beds out of control. Growing extremely well. Wicking beds are doing so good in this yard. In just six months. Sweet potatoes, a little bit nuts. But it's doing well. All right, so I'm at Brendan and Anna's house. And as you can see, these tomatoes behind me are, are just growing out of control. Really great to see. However, I uh, might need to prune them back a little. But um, the growth is phenomenal. It's doing exactly what I told them it would do. Um, even more so. So it surprised me as well. I've never seen such tomato growth. And um, all you have to do in the future is just nip a few of these leaves off and you won't get the growth as much as you have like so. And anywhere that there's a little extra branch coming out like this, just nip that off. And then I'll put all the energy into the fruit and you won't get all of this massive um, leaf growth. Because what's going on here as well, you've got to remember, is it's shading everything else. So you're not going to get as much food out of the back end of this because you've got all the tomatoes blocking the light. But anyway, other than that, it is doing extremely well and I'm really, really pleased with what you guys have been able to achieve. I think we might have to prune it back a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it a harvest. What do you reckon about these tomatoes, mister? Mate, these are the best tomatoes. <laughs> Every time I eat one of these, they're the juiciest tomatoes I've ever had in my life. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at your fish. Oh, wow, they're really growing well. Can we feed them? Feed them. They are doing so well. What do you got going on? Well, if you've got a minute, just listen up. We have got <laughs> cherry tomatoes. They're coming through. And we got celery. Look at that celery. Look at that. I'm looking. That's only about a month old. About Please. one month old, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, full right. celery. And we're going to put some peanut butter with that when you have some peanut butter. <laughs> and come down here, come down here. Come down here. We've got green spinach. Awesome. Wife has it in every smoothie every morning. She loves it. Feels it. Mick. And we've just harvested back of here. We had some more um, lettuce, but we've just cleaned all this out. So we're going to start planting. We're going to harvest that a bit more. <laughs> But look at these cherry tomatoes, they're massive!
Hey, I really appreciate you watching and I'd like to know what you thought of this video. So feel free to write in the chat box below. And if you're new to this channel and you'd like to know more, then hit that subscribe button. And if you wouldn't mind, give me a good old thumbs up so I know I'm on the right track. And just to also let you know too, that I do have a private Facebook group and I go in there live every week and I answer questions from the chat as well. So feel free to join that as well and I'll put it in the, in the comment section below.